Hey everyone, Darker Shadow here for a quick vlog regarding uh, some rather interesting things that happen to happen today. Of all the things going on today, the one thing I haven't mentioned is it's the 4th of July. Happy Independence Day, America! Yay! But uh, that hasn't had anything to do with anything I've done today. Because, of course, as we all know, I've done, you know, a bunch of movie reviews, Amazing Spider-Man came out, and the upload took forever, so it didn't go up till today. Today's Wednesday, my normal upload date for reviews, so I got my Escape from the Planet of the Apes review up on Blip and the link to it here on my YouTube channel. But more important than any of that... I'm trying to think if I should have said that was more important than Independence Day or not. Well, who cares? The biggest event in science in the last 40 years, as it's been said. Uh, a lot of you, you know, you know I do movie reviews. You know I'm a gamer. What you might not realize is that I'm also a bit of a uh, science enthusiast. My favorite magazine is Scientific American, and I follow them on Twitter, and that's how I found... Throughout all day, they've been tweeting nothing but Higgs boson. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Higgs boson is the so-called god particle that has been, well, missing since it is a particle that has been theorized based on the problem of how did atoms get mass? What gives mass to other particles? And the idea was that there had to be a boson a particle that sort of provided mass, it itself would be a massive particle, and it would have to have existed since the beginning of, you know, the universe, and by spending more time in uh, interacting with said boson, other particles would become heavier and would gain their own mass, and that would allow, you know, gravity and the fabric of space-time to work in the wonderful way it does for things to actually be able to coalesce. Now, the problem was this theory was made, uh, well, about 40 years ago. Um, and the thing was, there was no bloody way to tell whether or not such a particle even could exist. All of the things with the standard model, which, uh, you know, with relativity, all that Albert Einstein had put forth, everything sort of pointed to this. But there is no way to really check to see if it was right. However, very early today, the uh, data has come in at the La Large Haldron Collider and uh, CERN that there happens to be... Oof. Where is it? I got some of it up here. May as well look it up while there's a car going by. You probably can't hear it now, but... I heard the vroomin'. Okay, what size of particle is this thing? Ah, okay. Yeah, they uh, have received, a in their data, a 5 sigma signal of around 125 GeV. I'm not entirely sure what that stands for, but 125 GeV is around what they were looking for for the quote-unquote Higgs boson, named, of course, after uh, Peter Higgs, who theorized its existence. And they've got a lot of data. This is coming up quite a bit. It looks extremely promising, promising enough for there to be a whole crap ton of things regarding, hey, the Higgs boson is here. That still has to be 100% confirmed, but it's uh, kind of like you see a car roll up in your driveway, a celebrity comes out and says, this, you know, brand new 2013 Ferrari is yours and hands you the keys, you still have to get in there, start it up, drive it around, come home, and realize you're not dreaming before you, it kind of clicks that, yes, that's true. 
So that's kind of where we are with the Higgs boson at this moment. So what does this mean for technology, science, advancement, and what have you? Well, having the Higgs boson confirmed, which is highly likely at this point, would also confirm the standard model, as it is pretty well the last piece uh, missing from the puzzle, which might put us a little closer to the so-called theory of everything with a combination of relativity and quantum physics. Uh, which, you know, independently they work fine, but the problem with gravity breaking down at quantum states, uh, at quantum at the quantum level, at that small, gravity doesn't seem to really affect it. And, of course, uh, lar very large things that work fine in relativity, if you try and apply quantum physics rules to it, things start to not make sense. Having a Higgs boson that is uh, observable and able to be studied and documented exactly how it is would allow a lot more clarity on how to possibly merge those two fields. So for technology, this could mean quite a bit as, of course, computing is already getting down to the atomic scale. We're counting, we're measuring our transistors in microns. And uh, yeah, it, having a good understanding of exactly how physics works would be damn good for uh, streamlining and producing even more advanced tech, even though right now, what, with what we have, we're still going to be seeing far more advanced tech for at least another century in computing, and that's being very modest. Uh, but, yeah, Higgs boson. Really damn good day today. Well, kind of. I'm going to have to go to Kroger tonight and they're resetting the entire store and everything's going to be crazy and I'm going to have my hair going gray and falling out and all that crap. But never mind that. Happy Independence Day. Please enjoy uh, my film reviews. Uh, if you don't want to see my 35-minute thir long Amazing Spider-Man uh, reaction video, you can check out We Watched a Movie on YouTube. They have a fantastic review of The Amazing Spider-Man at only 10 minutes, and they go over the good and bad parts, and they don't spoil anything, so give them a watch. They're really good at what they do. And uh, enjoy life with the Higgs boson, I hope. And if it gets knocked down, this is going to be a really stupid video.